Okay, looking at uh, Jacob and Israel. Uh, Jacob went into Egypt as a family and uh, uh, and came out as a nation, the nation of Israel. Uh, the nation of Israel was redeemed by the blood of the Passover lamb and came out of Egypt by God's power. And uh, when, when God brought them out of Egypt, they went to the Mount Sinai where God made a new promise to them. It is called the law, also known as the Mosaic Covenant. It consisted of three parts, uh, this, the dispensation of laws, the moral law, and those are in the Exodus 20, verses 1 through 26, which includes the Ten Commandments. And the civil law, Exodus 21, uh, verses uh, 1 through uh, 24, uh, uh, which governs their everyday life. And the third is the ceremonial law in Exodus 24, uh, 1 through uh, 40, uh, 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 which regulates their religious life. It is important to keep in mind that the previous covenant, the Abrahamic covenant, was not done away with uh, in Exodus 24, 1 through 40, which regulates the... Uh, uh, The, that regulates the religious life. Uh, it is important to keep in mind that the previous covenant, the Abrahamic covenant, was not done away with. And uh, we see that in Galatians chapter 3, verses 17 through 18. It was unconditional and remained operational. And this is one of the keys to the understanding uh, the history of Israel. So about uh, 1440 B.C., the Israelites... Uh, arrived at uh, Mount Sinai, and Moses went up on the mountain where he was to meet with God, Exodus uh, chapter 19, verse 3. God reminded him of how he had delivered them from Egypt and now gives them a new covenant, which is called the Mosaic Covenant, uh, and begins with the Mosaic Covenant. Uh, Moses t returns and, and tells the people of the covenant and the people agree uh, to do all that God has spoken. And Moses returns to the mountain, and God gives him the law. And the people became impatient when Moses did not come back right away. Uh, they made an idol and brought offerings to it, uh, had a feast, and, and they uh, drank and play before the idol. Uh, God becomes uh, angry and judges them, and 3,000 of them die. Man was unaware of his own sinfulness. So it is at this time, God gives the law. Through the law, they would gain the knowledge of sin and their helplessness to fulfill the requirements of the holy God. And we see that in Galatians uh, chapter 3, verse 10, Romans uh, chapter 3, verse 19, uh, and, and chapter 7, verse 7, and James chapter 2, verse 10. And the law was given as a schoolmaster or a teacher, to bring them to understand the coming Messiah, Jesus Christ, so they could be justified by faith, according to Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. The law told them, and us today, that all mankind is helpless to meet the standards which God requires. It points every individual to Jesus Christ, who died to pay for our, uh, to, to pay for our penalty, which is death. Uh, which doesn't mean going out of uh, losing consciousness or something like that or being uh, destroyed forever. It means uh, uh, death uh, means uh, in, in the Bible, uh, in this sense, sense uh, means uh, an eternal being eternally cast into the lake of fire uh, for, well for eternity it's trying to get that straight but uh, they have uh, what they call the first death which is the death of the body the soul and spirit go to heaven or hell depending on whether they were saved and then there's a second death which is talking about here uh, which is being cast into the lake of fire for eternity um, so uh, Christ died to pay our penalty so that we could enter into heaven and uh, not go through that second death. Uh, the law was a guardian over God's people until Jesus Christ came. 
and Christ gave us the means whereby we can meet the holy requirements uh, through faith and receive the imputation of the righteousness of Christ. There are several things, however, the law cannot do. It cannot make anything perfect, according to Hebrews chapter 7, verse 9. Neither can the law give us the Holy Spirit, according to Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. And justification comes only through faith in Jesus Christ. So man cannot be justified by the law, according to Galatians chapter 2, verse 16. So the law uh, pointed toward things in the future. It was a shadow of things to come. And you'll see that in Hebrews chapter 10, uh, verses uh, 1 and 9. In the wilderness of Sinai, uh, God gave instructions to build a tabernacle or a meeting place uh, similar in focus to a church. And when it was finished, uh, the glory of the Lord fills it. Uh, and that's in Exodus chapter 40, verse 35. Uh, God gives them the law and the priests begin to minister. The tabernacle was used to teach them how to serve God and emphasize three things. Their own sinfulness the holiness of God, and the only way to approach God was through the high priest and the shedding of blood. A priest would be one who represents men before God. From the tribe of Levi, uh, uh, God chose the family of Aaron to minister as priest at his altar. Aaron was the first high priest, according to Exodus uh, chapter 28, verse 1. According to the scriptures, Jesus Christ has fulfilled the role of the high priest, and as such, uh, and as such, has uh, replaced the need for the Aaronic priesthood, the perfect instead of the imperfect. Jesus Christ is now our high priest who makes intercessions for us, according to Hebrews chapter six, verse twenty. And I thank you for listening.